Welcome back to Corvallis. We're at Paul Lorenz Field on the campus of Oregon State University, top-ranked UCLA, taking on the hometown Oregon State Beavers. Marguerite Owasasa starting lineup looking like this. Ellie Cook, the Oregon transfer up top along with Turner. They will be a handful. The midfield so deep for this UCLA lineup. And the back line that plays in front of Lauren Brisky just stingy to a core. UCLA having only given up six goals this season, scoring 30 on their side of the scoring ledger and playing great in front of Awasasa in her first year. Oregon State starting lineup for Lauren Sinicola. The Beavers coming in at 4-4-2, and 0-2 oh in conference play. Conrad and Jackson up top along with the scoring machine, Martinez. Haley Cole go all the way down to the bottom in goal, and it's going to be crucial for Reese Moffitt, who has been fabulous, the transfer from LSU, to keep that back line anchored because UCLA will come like a house of fire. Oregon State coming off that 5-1 loss to USC just the other night in Corvallis while UCLA took care of Oregon 3-1 in Eugene. Awasasa using 10 subs in that victory for UCLA, and this is a very deep club, and many, many times UCLA will play 9-10, 11-12 off the bench. We are underway. UCLA in their road white kits. Oregon State in their familiar orange with black numbers, black socks. Temperature 75 degrees, absolutely beautiful. Winds out of the northeast, but not much of a factor at this point. And just perfect conditions for this gorgeous pitch here at Paul Lorenz Field. Right away, UCLA in the mix, and right away, UCLA is able to score. Just a great ball from Allie Cook, and Turner buries it. That is one of the quickest goals you will see all season long. So Turner, the junior, 2021 All-Conference, leads Just this team in shots on goal. This gorgeous pitch, and you'll see right away Allie Cook getting behind the Oregon State defense, and it's just a perfect service to Turner, who timed her run beautifully. So just like that, one to nothing. Turner with her fourth goal of the season. And now Oregon State in a hole. Remember, so many starters gone. Juju Barker, ACL in early September against Washington State just a few games ago. Oregon State lost three starters. Herrera, Duncan, and Schwartz. Ava Benedetti has been unavailable for the last few games because of concussion issues. It's been a nightmare in the injury and concussion department for these Beavers. Let's see if they can come back. Down one nothing. first corner. A short one. Counter, UCLA on the run. What a great step. UCLA still maintaining possession. Desiano will leave it. Good defense again by Oregon State. And needless to say, after that goal in the first minute by Turner, Oregon State is almost going to have to play perfect soccer, and that's really hard to do against a UCLA club that has 12 different goal scorers. And again, a bench that never drops off in terms of technical and tactical quality. 
So uphill climb for Oregon State. UCLA has won six straight over Oregon State. Beavers haven't defeated UCLA since 2015. There's a deep ball from Evans. Obviously, it's going to be critical for Jackson and Martinez to get into spaces and places where they can get something on target. The two top goal scorers for Oregon State. But it's a stingy UCLA defense with Brisky mining the nets, one of the best in the business. Plenty of time, though, for the Beavers to not panic and just stay true to philosophy and build from the back and possess with a purpose. They can't just chuck stuff like that into space. Not going to work against UCLA. Evans, plenty of room to carry. Desiano, shot blocked. Moffat looks to clear and does. Jackson loses it. UCLA again maintaining possession, looking to get into that attacking third. Bautista working well with Turi. Turi, the freshman, making her second start of the season. It's basically next Beaver up with all of those injuries. Turi and some other young'uns got some great experience against a very good USC club. If you're going to look at a silver lining from the other night's 5-1 to loss to the Trojans, it's the experience gained by a lot of these youngsters who might not have gotten many or any minutes at all. Well played, here's Conrad. Ball blocked, again, UCLA scampering. On the counter, Desiano will handle the ball quite a bit today. Foul is going to go against Oregon State. McMahon gets up slowly. She leads this club with four assists, so you know she's going to have the ball at her feet quite a bit. Free kick for the Bruins. They already lead it one to nothing on a lightning quick goal by Turner. Assist Allie Cook. Deep ball, just got under it. Good look at Ali Limos, the only field player to start all games for UCLA. You know, it's interesting. Awazaza talks about the fact that this unselfish club, and remember, she's in her first year having replaced Amanda Cromwell. So Marguerite, basically talks about how unselfish these kids are. They don't care about who starts. They understand they're deep as the Dickens. And she can really keep foes off balance in terms of how you scout this Bruin team by bringing on multiple starting lineups. It's brilliant. And not many coaches in the country have a bench of this kind of quality that is so deep. And Awasaza is using every bit of that depth. 15 subs in one game, 13, 10, and 12 in others. Crazy.
Beavers dispossessed again. Sophia Cook, no relation to Allie at the midfield, but UCLA will begin from the back. Here's Evans, the transfer from Cal. Nice job by Campbell. Really, really quality job by Campbell. Another one of those Beavers making starts because of injuries. Campbell making her presence felt already. And you try marking Turner. Whew. Love the idea by Real. Dangerous still though for UCLA instead of the really nice step. Well played. And Oregon State wants to counter. Tobias starting everything. UCLA's defense with time to get organized. Let's see if Oregon State can unlock some channels from the midfield. Raylan Turner's goal, 50 seconds into this match. Beautiful ball from Cook to Turner, who timed her run like the pro that she is. 1-0 UCLA. Here we go again, Bruins. Cole's got to come out, but she doesn't. Actually, the angle said stay home, and she did. Well played by Cole. Turner was coming in heavy. Cole took away that near post. And Turner shot it wide. Well played, Cole. You see the timed run by Turner just outquicks the defense. And she just didn't have the angle. Deep ball for Conrad. Sophie will try and chase it down. Let's see if Oregon State can get Martinez in the mix. Service with the deep ball. Jackson trying to get behind the defense. Pulled down for just a minute. Nothing called. Play on. It was a great ball and a terrific run by Jackson. Just missing a great opportunity as Brisky came off her line. That's what Oregon State needs to do. Jackson, five different sports in high school, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at the age of seven and has been a top flight soccer player and an impact kid for Oregon State since day one. She's got to balance her blood sugar and proper nutrition. And she said, it can be tricky, I guess. Diagnosed type 1 diabetes at the age of seven and here she is living large. Love it, Amber. <laughs> UCLA player on the turf. Brisky helping her up. It's Jaden Perry. And she'll walk slowly to the sideline. The sophomore out of California. Regular starter this season for Awasasa. What a job Marguerite has done in her first year. Long time assistant at Stanford before coming to UCLA. Great recruiter, understands national championships having won two of those while assisting at Stanford. Star at Santa Clara. And the immediate buy-in by UCLA when Cromwell left. 
legendary coach for UCLA in her, her own right, has just been really fun to watch. Awasaza's motto is create, have a blast, bring joy. Yeah, we're going to be focused, we're going to be intense, we're going to be disciplined. But Marguerite basically comes at you with, hey, we can, we can do it all. We can have the focus, the discipline, tactical, technical. But we want to have fun. We want to create. We want to play with joy. Man, who wouldn't want to play for that? one nothing. UCLA with the lead. Oregon State doing a better job, though, in the last four or five minutes of play, of keeping the ball in their, their attacking half, getting behind the defense on occasion. Here's Moffitt, LSU transfer. Conrad goes down as she neared the 18, but you like the idea. Looking for Jackson, for Conrad, for Martinez. Good look at Sophie, the senior. Oregon State settling in nicely after giving up that goal in the first minute of play. Tobias playmaking. Turi did a great job of taking that ball with some real estate to work with, but then gives it up on the soft pass. Here's Campbell. She'll nudge ahead. Throw Oregon State here in the 13th minute. We're at Paul Lorenz Field in Corvallis. Oregon State taking on number one and undefeated UCLA. Martinez fouled. Every time she touches it, she'll attract one, two, three UCLA defenders. Martinez, leading goal scorer for UCLA with six of them. She makes this offense go. Phenomenal freshman season for Martinez, and she hasn't missed a beat. Free kick, Moffitt. Great crowd on hand. Just a lovely day. And I'm telling you, the stands are full here at Paul Lorenz Field. You'll love to see that. Wow, scary moment there as Turner went down. She just slipped. Glad it wasn't anything but that. Cook chases. Smartly played Sawyer. Excellent out of the back. Oh, how good Moffat has been. Unlucky there. And here comes UCLA on the counter. Cleared. Campbell working hard on that back line. Sawyer. Jacobs playing with Turi. Ball up for grabs. UCLA throw. <laughs> Folks were just getting settled. And I mean sitting down and getting their programs out. They looked up and boom, Turner blasts the game's first goal. 52 seconds into this thing. It was a statement goal by UCLA. We will get behind you if you don't mark and if you don't anticipate, and that's exactly what happened. The deep ball getting behind the Oregon State defense to Allie Cook, the Oregon transfer, and she quickly finds Turner who timed her run spot on 
and buried it. one nothing UCLA. Better defense, much better defense by Oregon State since then, here in the 16th minute. We also see Oregon State getting their attack a little bit more organized. I'm very impressed with the way the Beavers have settled down, stayed in this thing. Tessiano. Reyes will carry. And UCLA will slowly switch the point of attack using the width of the field. Turi playing the good D. UCLA, kind of a little scuff there by Sophia Cook, but UCLA retains possession. Again, Oregon State's defense so much better. They're playing really good 1v1 defense and making sure that nothing gets behind that back line. Conrad into space. Like the idea, Martinez so tough on the ball. She gets shoved down. Brianne Riley entering the game as a sub, commits the foul. So here's Moffat, the LSU transfer. Leads this club in minutes played. She's been fabulous. Jacobs tracks it down, kind of puts it into space. Can Conrad flag it? Yes, she can. Let's see what she does with it. Sophie wants to turn, just misses Sawyer. And here comes UCLA on the counter into space. Look at the Jets by Turner. 1v1, Turner, can she get the brace? You bet she can. Look at the speed of Turner. Just a beautiful ball. And Cole was a sitting duck. Sorry about that as the Oregon State Beavers do not like me saying sitting duck. But what a goal by Turner, number five on the year. You saw the speed of this very, very special player, a gazelle. Look at the carry. Cook recognizes exactly what's going to happen and running onto that thing with the finish coming right here. That was just brilliant. Wow. Speed, pace, athletic, gazelle, a beast. I could go on and on, and Turner is just a treat to watch. So 2 nothing. UCLA taking advantage of that speed. Turner's first goal, if I'm not mistaken, since UCLA's victory mid-September against Pepperdine. She had the 10 goals, did Turner, last season. She's halfway there in this, her junior campaign. That speed, woo, takes your breath away. Riley saves it. Look out for the header. The collision. Will we hear a whistle? Or will Turner get the hat trick? Cole goes down, a collision in the six. Let's just take a big deep breath and see what the ruling is. Cole and Turner collide. We're told the goal stands. It does. 
Let's take a look. Beautiful ball. Now, here comes the collision. And Turner pokes it away as Cole is down. So, Turner with the hat trick. Three goals by the 20th minute. My goodness. In last year's 4-1 to one UCLA victory, the Bruins led 3 to nothing at half. Well, it's already 3 to nothing, And we're in the 20th minute. All goals coming from Turner. Wow, a clinic. Fontes had a hat trick earlier this season against Northridge. So the heck, second hat trick of the season for UCLA. But my goodness, all three goals for Turner. By the 20th minute, crazy. All freshmen, or excuse me, all Pac-12 last year. Freshman of the year in 2020. Gilday checking in for UCLA. Fontes in, who leads this club with the seven goals. Turner's catching her already, darn near. Fontes. A few years ago, she had the five goals. Terrific season. This year, she's been at her very best. She's been really good before. She's been unbelievable this year. Martinez just shoved down. We'll keep playing. No whistles from Padilla. Jamie Padilla, your referee. 3 nothing UCLA. Desiano into space for you know who. Turner. Nice job by Cole at 5 7. Had to stretch for that. Second hat trick of Turner's career. She did it against LMU last season. All of those goals came in the first half, just like this one. So taking a page out of last year's book is Turner. The Bruins offense unselfishly putting on a clinic, and Turner, known as a great finisher, showing us exactly what we mean. This young Oregon State Club Again, missing so many starters. It's going to be critical for them to just keep battling. Martinez has hit the deck many, many times. Nothing called. Fontes doing a nice job against a double team. 23rd minute, 3-0. Top-ranked, unbeaten UCLA with the lead. Nice job, Conrad. Now you see what your club is made of if you're Lauren Senecola. Second year coach for Oregon State who has done a really good job in her two years at the helm. Now you see what kind of grit, what kind of focus, what kind of heart your club has. As Gilday off the bench gets things going from the midfield, UCLA looking for more. Cole going down. She had UCLA Bruins bearing down, but there was no rebound coming out of the hands of Haley Cole. Pro-Oregon State crowd here at Paul Lorenz Field in Corvallis has been pretty quiet. 
There's been a rambunctious chunk of UCLA fans. And they've had a lot to cheer about. Turner with three goals. Quick. Nice turn, Riley. Looking for a runner. She's going to find it just missing the foot <laughs> of Turner. Cook was making a great run, too. That would have been interesting had Turner been able to flag that down. Fontes loses it. There's the D by Jacobs. Martinez goes down again in a heap. She's leveled by Fontes. And the yellow comes out. Fontes booked. Martinez, every game attracts every kind of defensive tactic. And opponents aren't afraid to get physical with McKenna. Slow to get up. What a gamer, though. What a gamer. Had the 12 goals and four assists last year. Second team all-conference, all-freshman. She has, again, drawn every single kind of defensive coverage. And foes have not been afraid to be really physical with her. But she's tough, she's strong, and she bounces back. Here she is again. You'll see. So Fontes. Kerr onto the pitch for UCLA. Maddie Tetz in for Oregon State. Lizzie Antonson as well. And Anna Wagner. So both clubs going deep into their benches. Throw for Oregon State. Conrad looking to get it right back, and she does. Just that. Slide tackle, Conrad. Good hustle. Jazzy Campbell, try to keep that ball in play. Again, her hands full, trying to mark Turner. The 1v1 opportunities for UCLA have been absolutely huge. Once getting behind that Oregon State back line, there hasn't been any help. Riley asks for it, gets it. Wagner into space. Brisky way off her line. Fighting, fighting, Conrad and Turner. Good battle there. Three-nothing, top-ranked, unbeaten UCLA leading Oregon State. All three goals coming from Turner. Hat trick in place. Second hat trick of the year for UCLA. And I believe it's Turner's second career hat trick. We know she had one against LMU last year. 
Desiano wants to push, has Turner on this near side. Conrad, Turner gets up, keeps it. Fontes stripped, great effort there by Turner and a good run by Fontes, but good Oregon State defense. UCLA dispossesses, they're at it again and Oregon State's just gonna chuck it and get organized. Gorgeous afternoon here in Corvallis. High 70s, wind's not a factor. Turf field in great shape. UCLA, the cross. Oh, wow. I can't even tell you how close Turner was to getting her fourth goal, and Cole is down again. A gorgeous cross, and I don't know if Turner clipped Cole. Is Haley is surrounded by teammates. And finally to her feet. But it was a gorgeous cross. Turner times the run nicely. And perhaps she clipped Cole, who went down and slow to get up. Corner kick, UCLA. Free ball. Real skies it. Let's see if we can figure out what happened here. Oh, yes. Looks like there was a collision with one of her own players, Cole. And Turner might have gotten her, too. Inadvertent contact. And Cole took the brunt of it. There's a good look at Haley out of Eugene, the junior keeper. Bridget Skiba graduates. It's Cole's turn now. Jacobs in tight space. Emma Ejizi onto the pitch for UCLA. Second game of the year for Ejizi. And again, Boazaza will go deep into her bench. UCLA inside the 18, threatening again. Nice step, Oregon State. Ejizi. Thought she might have action, gets it right back. And here's Desiano. Desiano. Marked by Conrad. And there's the Oregon State clear. 32nd minute, all UCLA. Aiden Brown, Kendra McDaniel checking in for Oregon State. Turner having a seat. Having scored all three UCLA goals. Mackenzie Vance onto the pitch for UCLA. You get the feeling darn near everybody's going to get a chance to show what they can do today.
like the idea by Jacobs. But UCLA gets it right back. Walbrook coming onto the pitch with the touch. Oregon State able to dispossess. And the Beavers will build out of the back. Conrad looking for a runner. Not able to connect with Wagner. Oregon State not testing Brisky yet. Cole has been tested quite a bit. And Turner with the three goals to show for it. And here comes UCLA again. Powell's going to go against Oregon State. Marin Valencia goes down. She and America Frias missing some games as they were called up to the Mexican national team. Obviously getting them back into the fold increases the depth of this UCLA team. Rosenbaum. Riley, hands out, wants it, gets it. Vance, right at Cole. Great to see Vance back on the pitch. ACL injuries, she's missed the last couple of years and having her back just makes you happy. Just makes you happy. She and teammate Kelly Trevithick have dealt with so many injuries. A lot of these Bruins have, but those two in particular come to mind. All the heartache, the rehab, injuries, re-injuries, or fresh injuries, I should say. And to see players like that able to get through all that physical therapy, the emotional toll that injuries take on these youngsters, and to have them back doing what they love is just a gift. Real gives it up. Amaya Bautista, the sophomore defender, wearing number nine for Oregon State. She and all of her co back line mates have just been very, very busy. UCLA will take advantage of the turnovers and come right at you. Vance is gonna leave it. Here's Riley. So UCLA looking at another corner kick. Here in the 37th minute. Bruins already leading three to nothing. Jacobs fouled. It'll be Oregon State trying to get something going the other way. Turn it over here. Smartly played. Bautista. Conrad is going to make a run. Instead, Brown trying to find the middle of the pitch. UCLA there. Oh. 
Another booking. UCLA whistled for another yellow card. So 38th minute free kick for Oregon State. Desperately, the Beavers need something to happen before halftime as Real was booked for that yellow. Here's Moffitt. No problem for Brisky. UCLA absolutely dominating this first half. Raylan Turner with three goals. All in the first 26 minutes of this thing. Her second hat trick of her career. On the bench now. And UCLA known for its depth, liberally substituting Awasaza. Such depth to play with. Wagner, dispossessed. Three Bruins surrounding the junior. Fontes looking for a runner, and she's got it in Vance. Far post. UCLA trying to get that Oregon State defense slow in that 18, but Oregon State reacts nicely. The crosses were there, but nothing on frame resulting for UCLA. Emma Dean checking in for Oregon State. Jaden Sanders as well. Jaden Sanders, I believe, the freshman making her first appearance of the season. A one-sided first half, all UCLA. Forty-first minute, all three goals coming in the first 20, 25 minutes. All coming from Turner. Nice step. McDaniel still with it. <laughs> Bruins want to counter. You know, when Turner scored that first goal, 52 seconds into this thing, Oregon State did a really good job defensively of settling down until Turner scores a couple of more within a span of two minutes. 18th and 20th minutes. And Oregon State really chasing now. UCLA using that team speed to get behind the Oregon State defense. And Turner, one of the classic finishers in this conference, puts Oregon State in some kind of hole.
On the run again, Vance. Vance will play on and leave it. Fontes! Wow! Eighth goal of the season, Fontes. And that is all Mackenzie Vance, who shreds her defender, stays calm on the ball, and finds Fontes, who is one heck of a finisher. Well played, Vance. Great finish, Sunshine. All right, so watch, watch Vance here. Stays on her feet, keeps her hands up, leaves it. And running onto that thing is Fontes, who collects her eighth goal of the season. Wow, what a clinic by this UCLA team. They've scored six goals against Northridge, five against Fullerton. They've got four already. UCLA playing clean but physical. You got to really try to shield using that body as best you can against UCLA, but it's no easy task. Yellow card shown. We'll see who that's on. Obviously against an Oregon State player. So Lily Real. All Pac-12, all Frosh, just a sophomore. Fontes leaves it. Final moments of the first half, a first half dominated by top ranked UCLA. Clinical soccer, unselfish soccer, what you would expect from the number one unbeaten team in the country. Real heads it down, and in the final minute, UCLA will collect and try and get something going in the final minutes, or maybe just be content to play this out. Fontes, little give and go. There's the turn. Wellbrook. Moffat and Dean whistled for that foul. Riley. And that ought to do it for this first half. What a performance by the UCLA Bruins. Final seconds ticking off. And UCLA will go to the sidelines, the number one team in the country, leading Oregon State in their home kits, orange shirts, shorts, black numbers and socks. There's Sophia Cook. She's got an assist on the day. And we're underway, second half. Can Turner get goal number four? Nice ball by Martinez into Jackson. In 
And in case you're wondering, because I know I was, the last time a UCLA Bruin has scored four goals in a match was Sidney LaRue, one of the all-time greats, back in 2009 against Boise State. Assistant Stephanie Tercero joining the fray. Assistant official Jamie Padilla is our head ref. Tercero and Wilgus, assistant referees. The fourth official, Terry Ermson. Moffat smart to just clear that. So again, Oregon State coming into this match without four starters and a top sub due to a variety of injuries and concussions. Senecola has been forced to go deep into her bench for starters. And UCLA with this skill set has been able to take advantage. McMahon, runner. UCLA looking for more. Second half underway. Maya Sanchez will get the starting nod in goal for Oregon State as Sinicola goes to her number two keeper as well. Sanchez played a few minutes in that game against USC just the other night. She'll get some valuable minutes minding the nets for Oregon State as Jackson turns and retains possession. Tobias gives it up. Conrad gives a little shove after she loses it. It'll still be an Oregon State throw. There's a good look at Sanchez. 5'10 freshman out of California. Appearances against Virginia and USC. Martinez finally is able to tag one. She wanted far post. It was really the first time she's had an opportunity to unleash something with pace and on frame just wide as she tried to beat Purcell on that far post. There's a good look at Martinez. Leads this club in goals, game winners, shots, shots on goal. Sophia Cook's going to send it right back to Evans. And again, UCLA content to methodically work out of the back and combine those lines. So finally, the great McKenna Martinez is able to collect the errant clear, hoping to catch Purcell out of rhythm and position, but just wide on that far post attempt, McKenna Martinez. Second half just underway here at Paul Lorenz Field. Temperature high 70s. Winds not much to even report. Gorgeous afternoon for Pac-12 women's soccer.
don't want to give that ball up if you're UCLA with Martin Martinez lurking. Look at Turner. You know she wants more. And here's Trevithick. What a story Kelly Trevithick is, wearing number two on the pitch for the first time today. We'll tell you more in a second. But Trevithick, just a lovely, all those injuries for Trevithick. I mean, she has missed so many years and so many games with all the injuries, and Trevithick finally getting to play, cherishing every moment. She had a brace against Northridge this season. And Coach Awasaza said the team was crying, she was crying after all Trevithick has gone through. Most of her four years on the injured list, she's back, working back into fitness, making her presence felt, and the joy of getting back on the pitch. Welcome. Callie, it's just great to have you back where you belong. Here's Limos, the freshman starter every game, plays a ton of minutes. Bender. And just like that, it's UCLA once again. Ball knocked about. And what I'm trying to figure out is whose head that glanced off of. Turner was in the mix. I don't think it was her goal. We'll soon find out. Sophia Cook credited with that goal. Coming off the free kick. Now you'll watch everybody get into the mix. Yeah, and that's just lovely. That's Turner with the perfect slot head assist to number nine, Cook, for her fourth goal of the season. That is textbook. Turner with an assist to go with the three goals. Sophia Cook slots the header home. And just like that, 5 nothing. It's just been a long, long day for Oregon State. And UCLA, you're not going to ask them to take the foot off the gas. Trevithick turns. Look at Trevithick leaving it into space. Ooh. Nice job by Sanchez. She denies Turner. That doesn't happen very often on this day. Oregon State on the counter. Turi, who had a solid first half, has some room. Martinez into the 18. Like the idea by Jackson. Jackson had that goal off her noggin against USC just the other night. Here's Martinez again. Loves to go at defenders. Blocked. Service. Winning that 50-50 ball. 55th minute. 5-0 UCLA. Into space. Evans cleans up. Foul's going to go against Oregon State as Trevithick is brought down. Good look at Kelly. Just a great story.
five nothing UCLA it was four nothing at half this game thanks to Turner's hat trick hat trick never in doubt Turner can she do it again Ooh, Sanchez wisely comes off her line Turi was there to deter Turner Turner lurking, not satisfied with the hat trick. Sanchez did a good job to read that and come off her line. So both teams starting their number two keepers to begin the second half. Maya Sanchez starting for Oregon State. Niku Purcell mining the nets for UCLA. Valuable minutes for both. Sophia Cook is going to leave it. Vance will push. Far post cross. Here's Turi. Martinez trying to get behind Evans. Maya would have nothing to do with it. UCLA on the counter switching point of attack. And here they come. Great tackle by Conrad. Turner was lurking. UCLA, the only team left in D1 with that unbeaten mark. They're off to their best start since 2011. And they've recorded six straight victories over Oregon State, including last year's 4-1 to win in Corvallis. Today, it's 5 nothing here at Paul Lorenz Field in Corvallis. And it's been a Bruins clinic. Turi has a little room. Instead, we'll find Martinez. Good look at Purcell. Freshman out of Seattle. Purcell avoiding those orange jerseys and sending it right up the field. Trevithick loses it, and here's Oregon State and Martinez. She gives it up. Nicely played Moffitt. Oregon State just looking to get on the board, just looking to salvage something from this match that has been completely one-sided. Obviously, the Bruins looking for a clean sheet. UCLA will return home after visiting the Oregon schools to take on Arizona State and Arizona. While Oregon State's little home stint will end and they'll be on the road against Colorado and Washington. At halftime around the Pac-12, USC leading Oregon 3-0. Remember, Leah Freeman got that red card against UCLA just the other night. So Freeman not able to start in goal. And USC taking advantage, leading 3-0. That's at halftime. Cal, Arizona scoreless at half. We'll keep eyes on scores as it's a busy day in the Pac-12 around the conference. Oh. 
You know, I'm digging around this UCLA record book, and I realized that the last four goal match was, or four goal accomplishment by a Bruin was Sidney LaRue, but the latest, 2010. So LaRue had a couple of four goal situations to her favor. Unbelievable. Last one, LaRue, 2010. And remember, Turner has got a hat trick looking at a four goal tally. As Bautista comes back onto the field for Oregon State along with McDaniel. Five nothing, Bruins in the 61st minute. Game well in hand for UCLA. We'll see if Oregon State can find the back of the net to feel good about something. Great step by Martinez. Jackson will leave it. Martinez just kind of into space at the top of the 18. The Bruins will clear it, and it's a throw for Oregon State. Smartly played service to Shield. Here's Moffitt. Dispossessed. Here comes Lemos and UCLA. Turner was timing her run. Oregon State's defense mucking that up a little bit. Sophia Cook. How about that by Jackson? Just savvy. She's got Martinez on this right side. She'll nudge it home. Here's McKenna. Can she finish? Took an extra touch, and UCLA's defense was there. Cook was able to get back in time. Finally, something for the home fans to cheer about. It all starts with Amber Jackson, and Martinez makes a great run, but takes the extra touch instead of unleashing the shot, and Sophia Cook was able to retreat and block it. Thought maybe she'd pull it there, and instead goes 1v1, and there's the block. It does result in a corner kick for Oregon State, but I wonder if Martinez would like that one back. 63rd minute corner. Nice ball. Good job by Campbell. Moffitt will find an active Amber Jackson. Jackson just hoping that Bautista might be able to get the head on that for a flick or a redirect. UCLA's defense stout. Really smart play. Switch that point of attack, stretch that field and go. Trevithick. Turner making her run. Trevithick. Rosenbaum back on the field for UCLA. Allie Cook as well. Jackie Gilday coming back in for UCLA as well. Washington, or Oregon State trying to push. And you just see how quickly UCLA's defense is able to react. Martinez. That soft pass. No problem for UCLA's defense. More substitutions. Anna Wagner 
back onto the pitch. Martinez will have a seat. 66th minute. Long walk to the sidelines for Oregon State's finest. UCLA under first year head coach Marguerite Owasaza replacing Amanda Cromwell who left for the professional ranks. UCLA winning the national championship in 2013 under Cromwell. You know, and one of the things that really stands out about Marguerite is she's one of five Asian American female head coaches in NCAA soccer. And I, I loved her quote as Oregon State nears the 18. She said, you know, I think it's a good starting point, but I think we definitely have work to do. I'm a huge believer in if you see it, you can be it. She goes on to say, hopefully there are many young Asian American women in either the playing world or in the beginnings of their coaching journey that look at me and others and think, you know what, I can really do this. That is just awesome. Marguerite Owasaza, corner, almost punched in by Oregon State, and it'll be clear for UCLA. But you think about the pride, the responsibility, and the honor of being one of five Asian American female head coaches in NCAA soccer. It's a great story. And what she has done in, in her first year with UCLA Awasasa, very impressive. Good job by Jackson. Excuse me, that's Antonson who was able to collect and turn as Fontes steps back onto the pitch for UCLA. Bruins led 4-0 at half thanks to the three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back goals by Turner and then Fontes late in the first half. And Sophia Cook scores the Bruins' fifth goal here in the second half. Fontes will push and into space. Here's Allie Cook, the former duck. Cook, little nudge far post. The runner was there. I really love the read by Cook as Rosenbaum timed her run beautifully. Little flick coming up by Cook right here. Right foot. Coming on to it is Rosenbaum. Pretty good Oregon State defense to take away anything in terms of a shot, but it will be a Bruin corner. And it's a short one as anticipated by the Beaver defense. This game well in hand for UCLA. They will sweep the Oregon schools. They will keep their record absolutely squeaky clean. They'll stay at number one. And that RPI ever healthy at number one as well. Antonson trying to wheel and deal and does just that. Here's Turi, she'll square. Service will send it back. Patient Oregon State attack, Turry will carry. Antonson. Cook knocked off the ball.
Here's your Pac-12 teams in the RPI. UCLA at number one. Arizona State next at 17. Those two teams facing each other next weekend. A very dangerous Washington State comes in at 25. Healthy RPIs for Utah and USC as well. Oregon, despite all their injuries, still in the conversation with an RPI of 40. But you see where UCLA rules the roost in rankings and RPI. You know, once you get into the first couple, two or three conference games, that your season, your regular season, is halfway over. Obviously, robust non-conference schedules for both of these clubs. Then you get into conference play, and October becomes the dog days, if you will. And the true test, the litmus test for all the clubs in one of the best conferences in the country. As Sanders checks back in, number 33 for Oregon State. Here's a good look at the freshman out of California, number 33, Jaden Sanders. Here's Sanders looking to push. Miss hit. UCLA looking for the counter. Good job, Oregon State. Antonson battling. Bruins come up with it. Here's Turi. Turi starting the last couple of games for Oregon State. You can see her confidence and how comfortable she is in this new role. Wearing number 28. She's played in all the games coming into the last couple, which she has started, and looks good in that starting role. Giveaway, Oregon State. Fontes has Cook. Instead, she'll strike it from distance. Sanchez, no problem. Foul's going to go against Sophia Cook. Cook with the goal in the 53rd minute for the Bruins' fifth tally. Here you go. Purcell coming way off her line. And man, Brown really read that well and just missed beating Purcell to that ball. Good run, good effort by Aiden Brown. Cook, deep ball. Here we go. Cook, can she finish? Nice job by Sanchez. Comes off the line. Cook didn't really make her go left or right. Sanchez just looking big in that net and making the save. Got to think Allie would like that back. Time and time again, the Bruins getting behind this Oregon State defense to set themselves up nicely. McMahon back on the pitch for UCLA. Let's take a look at Cook. She gets behind Moffitt. 
great kick save. You know, I'm going to take that back. Sanchez really had to show athleticism on that kick save. You saw Ali Cook keep it low, keep it trending towards that far post, and Sanchez did a great job to cut down the angle and use her feet. Well done, Maya. Lynch back onto the pitch for UCLA, along with Marin Valencia. Both teams using a lot of subs, 10 and counting for UCLA. They use 15 against San Diego State, 13 against Northridge. Woo. Hey, how about that? Penalty will be whistled against UCLA in the 77th minute. And Oregon State will have a chance to get on the board. You're going to see it here. Beautiful run. Evans commits the foul in the 18. Looks like Amber Jackson. It is, here's Amber Jackson. What a save! And UCLA swarms Purcell as Jackson unable to convert the PK. And it's just a frustrating day for Oregon State. Desperately looking to get on the board. Golden opportunity with one of their best goal scorers at the spot kick area. And Purcell getting the starting nod for UCLA between the pipes in this second half. Guesses right and makes the save. Oregon State with the corner. UCLA will clear and get organized. Just a heartbreak scenario for Oregon State. Let's take a look at Jackson. And with the mitt, Purcell makes the save. Closer look. Well played. Well done. Vance back on the pitch for UCLA. I mean, everything going right for the Bruins today. Offensively, all the goals they could possibly need. And defensively, keeping the clean sheet in order thanks to Purcell's terrific effort to deny Jackson on the PK attempt. If the phrase insult to injury ever applied, it was here, as Oregon State is so banged up. And then, by golly, you get the situation that you want. Just get on the board in terms of the PK and the conversion not there. Fontes slots it perfectly. What a job by Oregon State's defense. And how about Amber Jackson? Does she pout after missing the PK? Uh-uh. She goes and plays the tough defense. Terrific job by Amber Jackson. She denies UCLA's sixth goal. Check out number 27. She knows she's beat, but there's that tackle. Well played. Well done, Amber Jackson. Here's Fontes. Deep ball. Look out. 
Sanchez stays home, does a good job of not leaving her feet, not committing, just staying home. It looks basic, but it's a good, smart, savvy play by the number two keeper for Oregon State. Trevor Thick back onto the pitch. You're looking at her. Allie Cook will take a seat. And Dean reporting back for duty for Oregon State. Marin Valencia looking to turn the corner. Turi playing the defense. Good step and clearance, Oregon State. UCLA, though, still controlling. Fontes into space. Turi clears. Eighty first minute. UCLA will get out of dodge after sweeping the Oregon schools. Beautifully played. Oregon State not wanting to let that sixth goal find the back of the net. Playing better help defense. Beavers continue to stand for their teammates. Continue to battle. Some great experience for a lot of role players. Turi, the Canadian. McDaniel taking on defenders, and then Oregon State doing a nice job, trying to do a nice job of switching, but they give it up. Jackson is there with the pick and the carry. Jackson looking for some help. Really like that idea by Brown. Right place, right time, right idea on the service, but UCLA's defense rising to the occasion in the 83rd minute. Scoring updates around the conference. USC now leading Oregon 4 0 in the 78th minute. Washington State leading Utah. Big match, good match, with only a minute left in that match. And Washington leading Colorado 1 0. That's in the first half. This game well in hand for UCLA. Bruins leading it. 4-0 at half, it's 5-0 now. Marin Valencia tags it. There's a look at your scoreboard. That Stanford Arizona State game will be something. Final moments, final minutes, I should say, of this one-sided affair. UCLA scoring in the opening minute of this match. It was Turner. She'd add a couple of more 
for the hat trick in the first half. Fontes would close out the UCLA scoring in the first 45. And then Sophia Cook adding the fifth goal here in the second half. Trevithick, that play will be whistled dead on offside. Nice idea by Fontes. Trevithick, a little overzealous there. Temperature high 70s, no winds. Gorgeous afternoon for Pac-12 women's soccer here at Paul Lorenz Field in Corvallis. As soon as we're finished here, volleyball fans will be treated to a good one. Washington at Cal. We're in the 86th minute here. Top ranked UCLA, number one in the country. Yep, and unbeaten. We'll stay atop the heap in the rankings. Stay number one, I would assume, in the RPI where they are right now. And the season's shaping up nicely. USC starting to really get on track. UCLA has been top dog for a while now and wearing the crown of that number one ranking very well. Washington State, Washington, so tough this season. Arizona State having a terrific year. And of course, Stanford always lurking. Utah healthy in the RPI, still battling against Washington State in a huge match for both clubs today. Fontes. Trevithick with the left. Ball blocked. Sanchez not taking any chances in the 87th minute. What a performance by UCLA. They wasted no time in letting everybody know how this match was gonna go, scoring in the first minute of play. Very impressive. Great crowd on hand. You know, tough to take it all in if you're an Oregon State fan, but if you're a soccer fan, period, just watching the excellence of UCLA has been a treat. There have been some moments for Oregon State. Some reserves getting some key minutes of playing time. That will count in the long run for Lauren Senecola and her Beaver Bunch. But when the dust settles, this will say all UCLA. Coming up next, as we mentioned, the Washington Huskies, number seven in the country, taking on Cal in women's volleyball. Stick around for that. Marin Valencia. Ball mucked around near that spot kick area. Oregon State on a counter. So the homestand for Oregon State will be over. Colorado, Washington next. Arizona State, Arizona next for top rank UCLA. Can Oregon State get on the board in the final moments? Jackson was denied the PK and we're down to the final minute.
impressive showing. Awazaza had her kids ready. They sweep the Oregon school, do the Bruins. Just an impressive, impressive weekend for the first year coach and her loaded, talented, deep, unselfish UCLA team. You knew this bunch had something special going when they go to, on the road and beat UNC and Duke. That coaching staff on the plane looking at each other on the way home saying, did that just happen? Yeah, it did. And you're rolling, Bruins. And that will do it. Impressive weekend for top-ranked UCLA. They roll 5 nothing. Number one UCLA with the clean sheet. Another victory for the perfect and top-ranked Bruins. They go to 3-0 in conference play with a sweep of the Oregon schools, and their mastery continues over Oregon State. For our entire broadcast crew, I'm Ann Schott saying so long.